black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, you guys, here we are. We've made it to the final stage. A couple more things to do before we get to enjoy it. But these are the hardest things about these videos is getting to it fresh and hot so the cheese is still melty. I just have to run off and do errands in the middle of this basically just to make sure this stuff happens properly. When I said it's a no knife recipe, I meant that. You use the grill killer to do this to get your cross section. You could go all in, but I have to reveal it to you guys. Like I said, we got the dip, the aioli. Ooh, we got this guy trying to escape. How dare you? Okay. Let's go. What do you guys think of that? You into it? I haven't even seen it yet. Oh yeah. The juices of those peppers, I think, are going to be key in this. You guys know we're going to have to add just a little pile of chips as well. All right. Now, what I really think is going to set it off is this next guy. His name is Clausen, and he's a pickle. I haven't had these guys in so long. They don't carry them in Toronto. I don't know why. And if they do, they're in a off for, far foreign magical grocery store that I don't know about. So, these are like a kosher uh, dill. That's when you know it's real. That like still white, nice and green. We're gonna have one of these for sure, probably two, but gotta respect the batch. And lastly, we gotta pour up. You gotta have an ice cold Dr. Diet Pepper, no extra sugar, aspartame killa. Oh, it's misting and breezing in the wind like a fountain of youth and death, aspartame death, right to the brim, almost spilling on. The melt, but we deal with that. Okay, let's get to a bite. And today I actually wanna talk about something that I feel like it's crazy that I haven't yet and it doesn't get addressed as much as I should, but somebody, as much as I think it would, but somebody asked it recently, and there's actually kind of a funny story behind it, and it's, why is your name Black Hoodie? Because you are not black, nor hood at all. In fact, you're the whitest man I've ever seen. I agree with you. It has nothing to do with any of that, and I'll tell you. Okay, first things first, a true bite. I'm going right for the pepperoncini zone. No, 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 no. Hmm. Come on. Back to you. You guys. You got char. You got char on the burger. On the meat. We must aioli. No. No, 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 no. A pickle bite. Bless it with a blooming onion chip. Oh my god. Gotta hit it with this aioli. Hit it with a pickle bite. Then. I fully just drooled in that bite.
<laughs> I don't even really know what to say. Like, like the flame grilled char on the bread, on the burger. That pepper's coming through, the salt. Like everything is just, it's exactly how it played out in my mind, you know? <sighs> Followed up by that on a hot day. How does life get any better? These chips, pretty good. Good to accent this, but a real fried crispy onion would have been much better. Once again, ladies and gents, we have a look. The cheese is like integrated into the meat, I feel, which is fine with me. So why black hoodie? It actually came from a place of insecurity, but then ended up in, in my head kind of being like a stroke of genius, so I just went with it. So, ever since forever, since a kid, and you can tell right now, I've always found an outfit that I like and I just kind of like roll with almost like a uniform with like interchangeable like one or two pieces but I like to just keep it I just get comfortable in a look I don't like to stray I don't like to variate really beyond it too far Thinking about outfits, picking out outfits, it's always just annoying to me in a sense. Though I do like style, I just like simple clean. So, back in the day when I first started this channel, my outfit was black pants, black hoodie, and like a beanie or a hat, and some like nice kicks. So I thought to myself, Eventually, these people in the comments are going to be like, why does this dude just wear the same outfit every time? Why is he always in a black hoodie? So in my head, I thought, if I'm going to wear the same thing all the time, that's like a brand, right? I become a character. It's like, Every time you click on my video, you're expecting a guy in a black hoodie and a beanie. And you kind of... You get used to it. You get addicted to that because that's what brands are. Like Coca-Cola. Your favorite TV show. Uh, things like that. That's how branding works. That's how you, you kind of... There's a certain comfort in a character in a brand, in knowing what you're going to get. Consistency. And I thought that would help me basically avoid the criticism of you're a bum, change your uh, hoodie, like wear another shirt. I wash my clothes and stuff, like I'm not a bum like that, it's just, I like one certain look. But then in my head too, I was like, wait a minute. I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> look at you, boy. <laughs> it's a stroke of genius, but it's a stroke of genius. It's like, this way I just become this character. And then I had this thought, which was, I can eventually like, I'm like, what if I put the words black hoodie on a black hoodie 
and you just wore a black hoodie that says black hoodie. It's like this weird, like, inception shit. Like, people are like, why are you wearing a black hoodie that says black hoodie on it? So in my head, it was like a shtick. It was like, okay, then these hoodies are going to be like this weird, funny thing. And then I can sell this merch with black hoodie on it. So it was like multi-level genius to me. It was like, disarm the haters, engage the brand, engage the character, make it a thing, make it streamline, and then sell this like weird hoodie that like doesn't make any sense, you know? If you guys knew how good this was, like, holy crap. So, that's why Black Hoodie. It has nothing to do with my race. It has nothing to do with me being hood. Though I put a little gangsta twang in my speech sometimes, but I'm just trying to be, like, funny and shit. I know I'm not out here. doing anything reckless or banging or anything like I clearly know this shit I just like to have a little flavor to myself and to be honest like I don't know I grew up I grew up listen like I was 12 years old listening to DMX like I snowboarded, I skateboarded, I BMX. I, it's just that kind of like hip hop, more like chill, rugged culture of like that. Like that's just kind of where my shit comes from. It's like, it's white boy as shit, but it's like, I'm not claiming anything else. Like, But I err on the side of like chill, cool, personality like outgoing like funny shit kind of turn a phrase slang like i you know i grew up in that time and it's just what i've adopted as my personality and i see no harm in being like that i'm not like trying i don't talk thuggish shit or anything so that's why black hoodie it has nothing to do with anything about racial and everything to do with the fact that I was insecure that I love this one look of an outfit like I was, I was on my Steve Jobs basically and I knew people were gonna get at me or be confused about it I know I'm doing a disservice, but I'm pretty full, but I, I, I'm, I'm cautioning myself because I'm about to hang out with my friend and I don't want to get that, like, like hit the couch and die bloat. So I just want to push it to the, not to the limit, just to the edge. Can't, no, one, eh, mm, mm, two, the, edge. Uh, see, it's the time it came up in. Anyways, well, sort of, that was like before my time in a sense, but um yeah i just want to keep it easy i want to be able to digest and then go hang out with my friends so that was amazing i love these barbecue videos i feel like they're just the best if i could do them every day or something like it or have access to this all the time i would be infinitely happy i think we could just grow and grow and grow and just bang out and build as a channel and really be successful but the universe has to grant me this or whatever. I don't know. I have to figure something out for myself and, and get in a scenario like this all the time. But I really wish I could. Till the next one, you know what to do. You gotta eat good, live well, stay true.